but that's on Smashboards as well. Um, you know, shout out to Sky as well. Yeah. Out those those Sky Williams, highlight yeah. videos. Yes, very good work. So, I'm actually trying to do some similar stuff with character tutorials. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely something that you guys could look out for on the Smash 24 YouTube channel. And on, of course, twitch.tv slash Max Ketchum, my personal stream. I'm, you know, I'm the guy who runs Smash 24 also, so don't take this as me shamelessly <laughs> self-promoting on someone else's stream. Yeah, I got some ideas in mind. It's something uh, I used to do. I might bring it back. Oh, alright, 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 all right. <laughs> But yo, yo, alright, let's get into this match right now. Okay, I'm hyped for that. I'm, I'm definitely, alright, we'll talk about that later. But yo... Kicking it off, we got J Tails with a big start. Oh, the spike! What? Yes, the first, the first uh, two hits, or maybe just one hit of Mega Man's back air is indeed a spike. Wow, I've never seen that before. Yep. Uh, the function of that is supposed to be to drag you into the other hits, mm. but Zuko catching a real lucky break there. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't even. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, like... maybe he was going for it. I don't know. I'm gonna give him the doubt of the benefit right there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, and say that he caught a lucky break. j -Tail's looking like he's uh, falling into some unfortunate situations, but still able to just bounce back. Very resilient player. Not one to get discouraged by unfortunate circumstances. I really admire his mindset as a player. Mm -hmm. And even though the bananas got nerfed, basically, j -Tail's isn't like letting that bother him. You know, the bananas, right. he'll, he'll, he's still using them, you know, and, and he's making good use of them. Yeah, I mean, he has it out. How could you play Diddy Kong without using it? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He, when he has the banana in hand, or the metal blade in hand. And I wonder if it still has a hitbox. That, that would be, it. yeah, maybe like the, the Z-Drop hitbox mm, kind of thing. That'd be kind of cool. It would. That's something to experiment right there. Yeah. Oh, the NATO. Zuko's so good with that Mega Man NATO. Yeah, for sure. Maybe he should have played Meta Knight. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is definitely a set I'm looking forward to watching play out, and already it's been pretty intense. Oh, wow, Down that's a fair. hard four there. But but not hard enough. Yeah. yeah, hard as a rock, man. <laughs> Look at that. Nice use of the banana there, forcing Zuko onto the edge. Another four there. Won't get the job done, but third time's a charm, maybe, if he could catch it. Zuko with some excellent DI, a.k.a. vectoring. Mm -hmm. And, oh, wow, he lived two forward airs, but not the side B. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. not what I expected to see kill him. Zuko, maybe... Uh, Talking with Bear Grylls recently, learning some survivalist techniques. Yeah, man. Eating those larvae or whatever. <laughs> that guy eats when he's out there. Oh, wow. Banana falling right on Zuko's head. Oh, good F smash there. Uh, I thought the crash bomb might have stuck, but JTails did block in time. That would have been interesting to see how he, uh, he dealt with it when getting knocked away. One of my favorite things about casting Smash is that I get to watch all these high-level players and see what decisions they're making yes. in, in these situations. Yeah, one and thing then you rip them off and mm -hmm. use them for myself. <laughs> yeah, you you find and see the options that you never really kind of thought of. All right, and JTL's running this comeback all the way so far, and I mean after such an unfortunate first death, I really applaud this level of resilience, man. Mm -hmm. And wow. wow, the command grab. J Tails has actually evened this up, and after this throw, he'll have the lead. Wow. Okay, Zuko off stage. How's he gonna deal with the banana? Very nice avoidance. Yeah, yeah. Very good patience there by Zuko, getting as close to the stage as he possibly could, so he won't have to deal with any shenanigans. Wow, these guys just barely <laughs> missing each other with multiple attacks. Okay, Zuko had already rolled back, so he couldn't punish Diddy Kong on block. Oh wow, J Tails so good with the Diddy Kong. Yeah, amazing conditioning, man. j -Tails has just been swinging for the entire, like, first three quarters of the game, and it's like, oh, every time that you're now scared of my big forward air, I'm just going to command grab you because I know that's what you're thinking. Yeah, and that's, like, one of the things in Smash with a back throw. Wow, oh, if he had pummeled on. first, I think he would have taken it, man. Yeah. Oh, j -Tails maybe kicking himself for being a little bit knee-jerk with that throw. Okay, recovers high, avoiding Mega Man's edge guard attempts. Oh, Okay, wow. Zuko not killing himself, but okay, wow, that time. Yep, not so fortunate to survive. All right, J Tails takes game one. But yeah, like I was mentioning, a lot of times in Smash, and it really doesn't uh, it matter which game you're playing in any iteration of Smash. When your opponent's at high percent, and you get that approach in, what's the first thing they're gonna do? Block. Yep. And that's when you grab. You add a lot of damage on. A lot of newer players will tell them. You can't just go in swinging all the time. Right. And and 
uh, a lot of you get that grab. Remember your shoulder damage. buttons. Yes, and because the, basically Smash is like rock paper scissors. It really is, and I'd say the grab is grab is probably paper. paper. Yeah, grab is paper. Yeah. Block, uh, block shielding is rock. is rock, and your attacks and snip 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 is the is the, uh, well, I was gonna say the paper <laughs> the scissors the paper cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then depending on the game, um, you know, brawl the rock was pretty broken. Yeah, rock was rock was very <laughs> rock good in brawl. I think rock is very good in this game also, yes. actually, because the drop shield game, mm -hmm. you it's the same as brawl where you have very few frames that you're stuck after you uh, after you drop shield. Yep. But actually, I I kind of like that because in melee it forced this unnecessary technical barrier where you have to wave dash out of shield to get the optimal mm -hmm. optimal punishes. And even if you're a high-level player, sometimes like just having to do a frame-perfect wave dash out of shield is a little bit cumbersome. Um, but nonetheless, you know that's that's definitely an accessibility buff to yep. the series. I mm -hmm. think you know it, it makes the game uh, playable at a high level for more people. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I would love to see the Smash scene grow. Um, and I don't think it necessarily makes the game easier. It's just less strenuous on your hands. Yeah. And for the 3DS particularly, I like that because mm -hmm. I'm not trying to. Uh, Tear my joints or anything, but yeah, get a little carpal tunnel or arthritis yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, but uh, so far in this match, after Zuko making the switch to Ness, I'm not sure if this is paying off for him. JTL's a Ness expert himself, so uh, as a result, I'm sure he knows this character's tools, uh, knows how the character typically looks to respond in situations, and yeah, JTL's had a, had a Ness. He plays Ness in 64, also plays Ness in Brawl. Yeah, and. One yeah. of his favorite characters. Mm -hmm. He always he kind of reminds me of Ness too for some reason. <laughs> yeah. All right. JTL's getting up there in percent though, and he's gotta watch out because Ness's back throw is no joke in this game, man. It'll kill Diddy Kong around 110 to 130. Yeah, somewhere you, in there. You will get chucked from that throw and die really early. So. Yeah, we gotta saw watch out. we saw Zuko surviving at astronomical percents to Diddy Kong's throws, which are pretty weak. Mm -hmm. But. Ness man, he's always been a character known for the ability to kill out of grab. Yeah, that back throw, just a staple kill option for Ness. Wow, and the monkey flip right over the whip, yo yo. Beautiful oh. punch by J Tails, but Zuko! Yeah, the stall into four there. That invincibility was gone for J Tails. Very nice by Zuko. Yeah, great use of that Psy Magnet, slowing his descent, and then stalling out J Tails' invincibility. So smart. J Tails was unable to tech the ledge too. Now that was really smart by Zuko there. He took a peanut as he dies from the forward air, but he took a peanut and got closer to the stage because the peanut could have canceled out the PK Thunder if he started it further out. Yeah. So as a wise decision, he took the hit. Actually, I think that might not happen anymore in this game. Oh, okay. Unless it was unless I was playing Zuko using a custom move uh, mm. on Wi-Fi. But I did play against Zuko's nest earlier in the week on my stream and I tried to do that, like run off and eat the PK Thunder, yep. but it didn't work. Oh, wow. So he might have been using the Lucas custom up B. Regardless, though, oh, JTL's running right into the PK Fire. Pillar activated. Couldn't get out, but uh, Zuko unable to combo out of it. Very even game right now. Oh, man, both of these guys, pretty good spacing. Yeah, definitely just feeling each other out. Not trying to swing anything big. Not, they don't want to commit to any laggy moves. Great edge guard there by J Tails though. Let's see, can he complete it? All right, pays Zuko the respect. Uh, doesn't want to jump into the PK Thunder. Yep. It's always disastrous when that happens, man. Oh wow, in the up air. All right, and that's a 2-0 lead for J Tails. On game point right now, set point. Just needs to win one more game to advance the grand finals. And I don't think J Tails and the Buzz have played yet. Which is uh, definitely something I'm looking forward to, man. Yeah, babe, but we can't count Zuko out. You, you never know. Long. It's fun, but it's it, long day. Yeah. Even with two stops. Well, it's because not everyone has the, uh, oh, their right, own right, systems. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. If everyone has their own system, then they could just play. Yeah. We've been I'm going to hurt character swap. We're going to go back to Yoshi, but main Pac-Man. We'll try to get Pac-Man up. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, Yoshi is very good in this game. Yes. Talking with Patrick83, aka, or formerly known as Pride, uh, former or former Yoshi main in Brawl, mm -hmm. tried to convert to Pac-Man. Looks like he's showing Yoshi some love. 
<laughs> and still trying to convert to Pac-Man on the side. Yes. The Pac-Man is a side man. I I lost every time I use Pac-Man. I lost. Yeah, Pac-Man. It's rough. Gotta have some loyalty to my original. Mhm. All right, so we're going into this third game. Zuko switching to Lucario. All right. This is what I like to see. Yeah. Some character diversity, but also his trusty main from Brawl, with which he was one of the best players in the entire country. Yeah, you call go into his uh, sweeper, that's what they call it in Pokemon, your last yeah, guy. Yeah, his sweeper, yeah, yeah well, go into his sweeper. Not even necessarily your last guy, but just the haymaker of your team. He's yeah. just going to mow down your opponent, and Lucario does fill that role in Pokemon. Uh, didn't really see him play like that in Brawl. He was kind of a more calculated footsie character mm -hmm. rather than a rushdown character, but... In this game, I think he's gotten some new tools that might, uh, you know, might change that. But we'll see how it plays out. Charges up that Aura Sphere to start, but uh, J-Tail's getting some field controls. Bananas are out, and just one throw can lead into massive damage from Diddy Kong. Wow, very nice by Zuko. But J-Tail swinging back. Yeah, challenging Lucario actually oh. paid off quite a bit there. Lucario has smaller limbs than Diddy Kong, it seems, even though he's taller. Uh, that forward air and back air, man, they reach so far. Great projectile game Ooh. off the stage by J-Tails. Just tacking on the little hits, not trying to go for anything too crazy. Mm -hmm. But still building damage. However, he does have to watch out when he builds damage and doesn't get kills. As yeah, you know, for sure. Lucario, man, that aura effect. And, and the, the built-in rage, rage effect. Yep. Yeah, J-Tails has to be very careful at this point. Lucario over 100. Wow, that aura animation is awesome. Yeah, it really is, man. I love this character in this game. I love both of these characters. I used to hate Diddy Kong with, like, every fiber of my being. <laughs> but... Oh, you saw that? Yeah, yeah, some curvature, <laughs> man. I like this, uh, this new Lucario. His extreme speed went from being a total joke to actually a pretty scary recovery. But forward smash seems to have lost a little bit of range to compensate, I suppose. That move was straight ridiculous. Yeah. But I think now the Force Palm aura, when it doesn't get the grab in, I think it, it increases, the range increases by the percent, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, it doesn't. No? No. Nope. Oh, that's, I'm thinking of his final smash. Oh, yeah. When he turns into Mega form. Yeah, oh, man, imagine he could go Mega without a final smash. That would be yeah, insane. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy. All right, Zuko living the forward throw out the edge. Nice vectoring. Good use oh, of geometry. Yeah. Ooh, and the forward air. Not able to calculate the angle on that one fast enough. Didn't have his protractor, as probably say. <laughs> yeah, and J-Tail's uh, capitalizing on the little stall that Lucario has on his up B. Getting that stop. Wow, the Diddy Hump coming into play. The emergency fair. Shouts to Wyatt. Shouts to the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> My hump. Ooh, All right. wow, but the Shippo smash gets it done. Yeah, that Lucario's up smash coin for a, a Jersey player named Shippo who used to use it a little too liberally in Brawl, but that move seems to be vastly improved. Yes. I love seeing the changes that they made to the characters. It seems like they knew which moves were bad and which weren't. Mm -hmm. And, like, especially Bananas, being that he can only have one. Wow, the command grab reaches so far. Wow, nice by J-Tails. He's working on this 3-0, man. Yeah, this is rough stuff for Zuko right now. Gets forward there, out of his uppie again. Nice sweet spot of the edge, though. And uh, for those of you guys that didn't know, J-Tails got his inspiration to play Diddy Kong from playing Leffen in random matchmaking. They played for about an hour on stream. Oh, even. wow. But this is where you don't want to be against Lucario. Final stocks. <laughs> He's at 125, just cooking up these huge blue aura balls, looking like Heisenberg right now. Can he recover? Oh, the peanut tagging him? Wow. Zuko getting so much slide power from that up B on the ground. Yeah, really, really bu buffed recovery Absolutely. for Lucario. Wow, the aura sphere just ripping right through the peanut. Look at this, the percent, slowly but surely. Getting evened up, and Zuko not oh, having a lot of hits combo. Yeah, great jab. It looked like into Aura Sphere. It was a uh, banana throw. Oh, banana throw into Aura Sphere. Very nice. Okay. Oh right wow. Eight there. I rate eight out of eight. <laughs> I knew you were gonna <laughs> say that. Oh wow, Zuko going for that F smash. Eats a grab for it, but did he? 
Oh, oh he tapped it. Good Beautiful tech. Beautiful by Zuko. Okay, and just sailing to the other ah, side of the stage, but no, J Tails able to get there in time. Diddy Kong is so fast. Yeah. Wow, that was a great set. 3-0 for J Tails, but intense the whole time, nonetheless. Oh.